That's not bad. That's what we're dealing with now. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a bee. Big break down. It's a drill working there. Get a trailer on this, give it a whirl along the road, give the transmission a bash. Just getting a wee bit used to this transmission now. It's it's getting there, but it's, it's very smooth, I give it that. Uh, front grab on the front there, I'm trying to uh, float the pressure on the top link, and I couldn't figure it out for ages. I was messing about with this and up and down the mountain. I managed to float the arms, take the pressure off that, but there's a tiny wee button right there. You have to hold that down and wiggle it side to side, and it floats the top link. I didn't figure it out, I had to phone and uh, ask Kev, but it took him a while to figure it out as well. The four steps rather than three throw me off every time. I just about fell out three or four times. So you can either speed up using the accelerator, you let off the accelerator, it'll come to a halt. It just goes right up to top speed if you use the accelerator, or you can use this, you can ease off. So that's me come to a halt there. And if I push it right forward and hold it forward, it'll come up to 53k. So I'm in forward, set to 53, which I can alter and set a top speed and there's three options so yesterday Kev was ploughing so he had a, a six and a half K so he'll just drop that down to use that button there to drop it down to that so then when you rattle this forward it'll go straight to six and a half K and that'll be it and it'll sit at that speed and then I'll say jump onto the road whack it up to that 53 on the road I don't know what this is like on the road um, I'll need to get used to it or whether I'll still prefer just using the accelerator, I'm not quite sure. I think I'll take a wee bit of getting used to. I've never used any sort of radial transmission before. Other than the transmission and a few other cosmetic changes, this is basically an identical tractor to what we've got already. We've got two of them. So far, transmission, good. Smooth, still obviously getting used to it, but quite enjoying it so far. It's quite, it's fairly simple to use. Um, a couple of times where you just automatically go back to brakes clutch or use an accelerator when you don't really need it that much. Um, I'm not really talking about much else with the tractor because it's the same as the last two we've got and um, so I'm mainly focused on how this is working. You've basically got everything you need sitting right here um, other than the steering wheel which you have that as well when you've got your GPS going so you can do almost everything from here and the joystick here for the front end as well your spools right next to you, electric spools here. So everything's within distance, it's comfortable. So if you compare this kind of directly to the clads in terms of the cab, it's roughly the same size. Uh, the clads is a lot louder but a lot smoother, whereas this is obviously a wee bit rougher ride but it's a much quieter tractor inside the cab. Gas bangers run out of gas, so uh, all the geese are back. To go and change it, I'm just gonna have, have to use a big bottle. Got my wee basket and a big bottle of gas, so uh, there's not much left in that gas bottle though, so get it all finished up, get rid of some geese for a start. Right, I've got the banger swapped, but these geese right away in the corner are not shifting, so get rid of them. Oh, there's still some over there as well. Bandits. But it's looking alright, there's a patch over there that's just not really come through, it was absolutely soaking wet in there. It's, I'll go and have a look, there might be a bit there, but not looking the best. And it's just past being able to fill in any gaps. It's a bit soggy. This is the patch that's dodgy. It is actually all right. Geese have hammered it a wee bit and it's been slow out of the blocks because it was so wet. I didn't get a good start, but it's there, so it'll be fine. There's the wet, wet bit through that streak. Because there's a bit of a mound in the hill there and there's tatties before. So the water just ran down into this pooled up earlier in the area and the beds meant the water couldn't run off and away so it just got soaking wet and now when we went through it you ended up with tracks and divots and whatnot so it sits as well you can see the mound see the green the wheat the wheat in behind disappears because there's a mound in the way so that mound stops the water but it's there you can see where they've been the geese they leave a right mess the dirt can't be harmful though it'll get soaked up once it dissolves into the ground Test flat. <laughs> 
frosty this morning. First bit of frost, really. It's been cold for a while now. I hope you bandits don't run on the feet. Barley to be bruised today. There'll be a bruiser coming just any time this morning, really. Coos are squared up. They'll need bedded tomorrow. In the bale of ammonia straw as well, just now. That's what we're dealing with now. Go on, subscribe. Nice and chilly Baltic, look at the frost. That's it, now till February, Baltic. Right, the space is clear. That'll get the barley bruised into there. Get the front lift out of the way so we can get the rest in when he arrives. Just head along the road to give Percy a bit of grub and the pigs a bit of grub. What a morning. Lovely. Right, mat yard number two. Get the pigs and Percy squared up. Pig squared up. Percy squared up. Right, got the cage and the grinder and whatnot again because I need to cut more stays off of that and for panels on the front wall on that side and um, need to get rid of a couple of the supports. <laughs> Getting there, I've managed to flip and burn a hole in the weatherproofing, but you can patch a wee bit over the top of that. One more to go. Right, done. Put this roll up here just because that's the steel plate there, and the sparks will just leave wee spots and it'll all rust. Anyway, that's it. I've got a Christmas tree delivery to make, but I'm hunting for the order so I can find out what size it is and the address it's to go to. But no one quite knows right now where it's going. Right, progress. Christmas tree delivered. Um, it was one of those ones you can actually replant and grow. And I got quizzed a lot on how to regrow it, so it'll probably be dead for next year.
That's not bad. Getting there in here, rackings up. Joiner still making new patterns. Uh, this is all so we can fasten sheets to the front of it without using, well, that space in this to not use loads of battens of wood because they're probably 20 quid each, these battens. By the time you add all of those, all of those, all of those, yeah, seven, eight, nine hundred quid, I'm not sure. Anyway, he's done that. He's just about ready for the sheets to go on. I don't think we've got any sheets. Window's going in tomorrow. I'll give him a hand up on that. Door works, but at uh, the top of the back of it, we need to seal off. We need to change the gutters on this because it's all carry wampus. But we're getting there. You're all by my side.